Community councils are the new popular participation program in Venezuela. Uh, the law of community councils was passed in April 2006, and for Chavez, as you can see, it's the fundamental law for revolutionary democracy uh, and the construction of democracy and the Bolivarian political system. So it's intended to kind of revolution it, revolutionize uh, Venezuelan politics and the political system. And it follows up on a series of other laws uh, for municipal power, for local public planning councils. It's a broader context, which I won't go into here, but this is a large break with the way government has been run in the past in Venezuela. This is the general vision. So community count, communal councils, which essentially means community councils. There's a bunch of a difference in Spanish. Uh, communal councils are expected to form the base of the new political structure. So there are communal councils throughout society at the very local level. Uh, they will inform uh, and shape policy at the district level. That will filter out to the municipal level, the state level, and the nation. So that ultimately, national decision making should be based on community councils in some form. This is the vision. So the question is, how does that, how does that uh, actually work out in reality? The law. So communal councils, this is directly copied from the law. And for those of you who've been to Venezuela, you know that laws are very important there. People carry around laws in their pockets. They refer to them constantly. So I'm putting the law much less than the Venezuelan would. If one friend was here, he'd probably just be reading from the law all the time. So Community councils are manifestations of participation, expression, and integration between diverse community organizations, social groups, and citizens, which allow organized society to directly manage public policy and projects that respond to needs and aspirations of communities and the construction of an equal and just society. Community councils, or communal councils, are organized in self-defined geographic areas, very small areas. So uh, between 200 and 400 families in an urban area, at least 20 families in a rural area, and at least 10 families in indigenous communities. So in a city, this would mean a few blocks. So a few blocks are forming a, a communal council. In these councils, all decisions are to be made in citizen assemblies with a minimum of 10% of the population over age 15. So anyone over age 15 is considered a citizen who, who uh, can vote and make decisions in the, in the council. There's a fairly complex structure to the, to the councils. They're to contain executive, financial management, social controller committees, as well as thematic work committees based on the interests of people in the community and based on the existing social organizations uh, and grassroots movements. In practice, what's been happening? So this is all very new, remember, the law was passed in April of this year. Since then, people have been going out and mobilizing massively across the country. Uh, each council, can receive up to $14,000 for proposed projects directly from a new presidential commission of popular power. Um, and councils can also submit larger projects and policy proposals to their district council or per district budget to higher levels of government. So, so far, around 14,000 councils have been formed throughout the country. 6,000 projects have already been funded uh, through $100 million. The money's flowing, and all of this is oil money. 